Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and we are talking an over-the-top beautiful day here in paradise. We're at Blue Springs outside of Madison or Live Oak, Florida under the shade of these absolutely glorious granddaddy oak trees on this sunny December day. It is Thursday, December 7th, 2023. So, uh, before we head down to the beautiful blue spring, we need to learn to speak up for springs. Yes. Brooks may babble, Yet springs cannot speak. How will you be the voice of Florida Springs? Okay, they want me to be the voice of Florida Springs. Okay, I'm gonna be the voice of fucking Florida Springs. Why? Why? Just be the voice of Florida. Threats to our springs, as my buddy was saying. We need a we need a mirror right here. We we, we need a a mirror right here. That is, let's see, how about uh, groundwater pollution? I use environmentally friendly soaps and fertilizers. Yes, environmentally friendly soaps and fertilizers. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see one word about the fucking Nestle's bottling water plant. Which, where is it? Right behind that line of trees, Eric? How far are we from? I mean, uh, how many millions of gallons? About two miles. Around a mile. A mile. Do you know how many millions of gallons a day they, they suck out of the Florida aquifer to put water in these single-use hundreds of thousands it, I bet it, it wouldn't surprise me if it's a couple of million. Anyway, I need to look up Look well, up they, the they Nestle. Have, they have six inch diameter pipes <laughs> pulling water up in four different places. Yeah, there you go. Four six inch pipes sucking the water out of the aquifer so they can. So, this giant uh, multi billion dollar multinational corporation can put the water from Florida's springs into these single use plastic bottles uh, so clueless morons can drink the springs and throw their bottles in the waterways. So no mention, no mention of the, uh, <clears throat> of the single most immediate threat to uh, this particular gorgeous spring. Not so gorgeous today. Well, it's pretty gorgeous if you're not. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. It's very prehistoric here. We are the only people here I see on in this America, beautiful all this fresh water just coming right up from the ground. The most important, if we, it's the second most important thing for us, air and water. Oh yep. Yeah. Makes me want to go out and buy a single use bottle of Nestle's oh, yeah. pure so spring they, water. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure uh, I'm sure the shelves at Walmart are full of Florida spring water. Yep. But I use environmentally friendly soaps and fertilizer <laughs> to save Florida springs while I'm drinking a bottle of Nestle's water washing washing my truck with an environmentally friendly Truck what detergent. I, what you see here today yes. is the level of the whiff of Fuji is high. So it's so you have yeah. the brackish water, the shit water from the with from the with la Fuji coming into yeah. this spring and fucking it up. And that's what you see going on right here right now. It's still kind of clean over here, but normally yeah yeah you can normal. see every grain. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly pH balanced, crystal clear water. It's beautiful water. It's perfectly pH balanced too. When you open your eyes in it, it doesn't sting at all. 
Mm. It's a wonder of the earth, this little stuff we got hidden here in Central Florida. Sancho is enjoying some Nestle's bottled water out of the bottle. How is that Nestle's water not coming out of a plastic, single-use plastic bottle, Sancho? Oh, man. This is, this is what two real estate investors do. We're, we're real estate investing right now. Yeah, we are. We got it fucking made. <laughs> this is how real estate investors do it. Folks, we have the life. It's not just a, a YouTube image. It, it's reality. We are living the life. The Withlacuchi River. This is not the Withlacuchi River that I live on in Denel and uh, Yes, Eric was right. I don't I don't know what this Let me tell you what it is. It's flowing south. So what do we have north of here? We have Georgia, which is the most shittiest state for a go. in the fucking nation, besides the fact that they're a bunch of communists. So this is coming out of Valdosta. It's shit, it's shit from and cows. Valdosta. Yeah. It's, it's not directly from a, a shit plant they have on the Withlacuchi up north. Because the Withlacoochee, it, my Withlacoochee River, in eight feet of water, you're seeing every grain of sand on the bottom and all the fish swimming around. You couldn't see a fish more than two inches under the surface. And they have two Withlacoochee Rivers in Florida that have nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll have, we need to protect the river mm. with our toilet paper. Yep. Environmentally friendly toilet paper. Oh, diaper. Environmentally friendly assholes well, with. Really, you gotta decide to quit your computer job, <sighs> probably divorce your wife, <laughs> and then come out and live in the country and be free. <sighs> Get rid of your mortgages, car payments. Between the two of us, no probably mortgage, no car payment. Probably lose some weight because you know you're fat and, and, and need to do that. <laughs> yeah, we, this is the third Hardee's I have been to in uh, the past month. It's like every, I think a, a, a prerequisite for working at Hardee's is a BMI of about 38. It's unbelievable. The Booty mass index? Uh, Extra large, please. Hey, you know what I saw at the Hardee's? A candied bacon egg sandwich. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh my God. And then, so I got a wow. sausage biscuit and they put a thing of strawberry jam in my, in my sausage. Who the fuck put strawberry jam on a sausage biscuit? A fat ass. <laughs> Man, you beat me to my own punchline. Oh. Uh, all right. Now we need to go make a million dollars. Oh, Being... Big time Florida real estate investors investing in the <laughs> investing in the end outs. I don't see too much hurricane damage. They must have come in there and cleaned this up, I'm sure. Uh, there's one down. I see the root ball sticking up in the air. Oh, yeah, that storm took out a lot of trees. Now the these two big that, that there's there's yeah, that yeah. big stomp and this big. So these trees just do they just go down? Oh, good lord. Yeah, yeah, this whole area, you could not walk through here, actually. And it's interesting, too. This is basically a sinkhole right here. And sometimes it does fill up with water. I mean, the water in this area is just percolating out of the ground. Yeah. Well, my guess, if we didn't have a Nestle's bottling plant right on the other side of those trees, that uh, that would be permanently. Yes, they are eco Nazis, the Nestle uh, guys. <laughs> It's actually not Nestle's anymore. They sold it a couple of years ago. It's now called Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. Neptune water bottle. But neither the god of the sea. Yeah. Look at that destruction, huh? How much force would it take it, to do that? Well, what I... In, in the damn pine tree center right next to it. And the other one didn't break, right? Uh... There you go with your conspiracy theories again. Uh, the micro cyclones that the DARPA uh, is creating with the harp system, right? So I guess they haven't cleaned out. Uh, they missed a couple. Yeah, the sinkhole's pretty. Uh, All right, Sancho, we got to go make a million dollars.
Get out there and enjoy your single-use bottle of Nestle's water and kiss goodbye the Florida Springs. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.